limit here is 80, but I'm doing 65, so it will fly by me, I guess. So we just arrived in Junction, and I believe that's the Lano River that we're crossing, and uh, that has an interesting color. This is a huge bridge and long. We're about to enter the state park, South Lano River. Seems like they're replacing, a, uh, they're building a bridge actually here. Oh, we just crossed the Lano River. And they diverted it for that road construction here. I believe we're approaching a newly built ranger station, which isn't open. It must be then an older station, okay. So I see another building straight ahead. That might be the original one. Park headquarters ahead. Okay, those are the park headquarters right here. Can get tubes here. Hello. So we are arriving at the camping loop. It's one loop drive here. And we have site number 30. Camp post right here to the left. Thirty. That's our site right here. So we set up our site at South Lano River State Park, Site 30. We have this big yard here. A couple of trees. And that's about it. So this here is the bathhouse. Men's side is closed yeah they're cleaning it okay well we got two showers in here two restrooms and one urinal looks good thank you appreciate it thanks you too well that was nice they just let us in he's about to clean it looks decent I'm gonna check it out in the morning So yeah, I see that they uh, have a trailhead right here and that shouldn't be too far from my campsite because uh, that's where we want to hike to, the Buck Lake Trail. And they also have a bird blind. That sounds like the bird blind is busy. Well, that's a busy place. Looks like a movie theater in here. <laughs> Hi, how are you all doing? You see any birds? Uh, quite a yeah. few. Oh, cool. Huh? But those ladies in the bird blind, they sure enjoy their bird watching. They know every single bird by name, so to speak. And of course, I mean, what kind of species those are. It says caution, steep hill, and yeah. And it's quite a drop off. So where are we? Oh, we're almost at the lake. That is the lake. Here's the Lano River. And my campsite is somewhere around here. So that's very, very, very close. Oh, that is the lake already. Ah, okay, that's a tiny lake. It's not big. The vegetation changed in this part, but whenever you're close to the water, of course, then it's extremely green. But uh, the desert starts to move in. I can tell that also by the temperatures and also by the humidity. It's much lower here. So that's the lake. 
just like those big trees here. They're tall. Look at this one. So from Buck Lake, we are following now the river trail. Okay, here we are at the river and you can pick now where you want to go, left or right. But straight ahead, that's the Lano River. And it really has an interesting color to it. Yeah, here we're getting closer to the river. And yeah, it got that interesting color. There's wild turkey around here. I just met a guy who takes pictures, just like I do. And he said, watch out, they're somewhere in this area. Yeah, we just found this little trail that leads directly to the river. Ooh, that was a dragonfly. Did I stay here? Yeah, I don't know if you can do the tubing here already, because I saw them uh, at several campsites and the headquarters, they have tubes. Maybe they rent them, I don't know. But the river is nice. Fairly clear water, too. That's a turtle. That's two turtles, actually, right there. And you better believe this sign, because look at that tree over there. How oh, that tree is still holding on here. That is beyond me. Look at that giant uprooted tree. I believe at one time, that's where it was sitting, right here, right in this area. There's another tree straight ahead on the edge. That might go soon too. I assume that at some point there must have been some massive flooding here. That's where all that driftwood accumulated here, around the trees. Because that is everywhere. And that is a little bit scary if the water level really rose that high. Wow. Because the river is, uh, I would say, 300 feet from us. And then like uh, 20 feet below us. that busy end here. It is Monday morning and South Lano River State Park filled up quite a bit. When I arrived yesterday on a Sunday, uh, most sites were available. What I noticed though is that when you drive the loop, which is counterclockwise, the sites to the right they provide more shade. If you are into the sun, <clears throat> then my side 30, that's perfect for you because uh, the sun is on it most of the time. The morning fog on the Buck Lake, it truly has something mystical about it. Everything looks different in the morning light. We hiked this trail yesterday, but then we turned right. Today we're gonna take a left turn and see where that leads us to. And here's the South Lano River. like Delta wants to go to the river, so let's try the river access here. Mm -hmm. 
not really much of a trail here. You gotta find your own way through the bushes. But here it is, here's the river. Still has a little fog on it. Hey, Delta, no, don't drink that. It's crazy, since we went to Galveston, I cannot keep her out of the water. She wants to be in the water the whole time. You're a silly girl. <laughs> That's actually a pretty nice spot here. They put a couple of picnic benches here. We might go here later today. And she can go into the water. I wonder if she will ever go swim. <sighs> what I don't want to show right now, of course, is the the remnants of humans in this area. Two picnic tables and one has a full diaper on top of them. Is this necessary? My question to you. This is not the first time I've seen this. It's not the 10th time I've seen this. I cannot count how many times I've seen this on my trip. We are here at a large parking lot and there are several stairs leading down to the river so that you gain access to it. And there are more over there and so on. And this is the parking lot. Across the parking lot are pit toilets and that marks the beginning of another trail. Unfortunately, no trail markers like uh, what name the trail has because on the park map the trails they usually have names but there is nothing here. Just a hundred feet from the pit toilets the trail branches off. Again, no markers. But uh, I decide to go to the right. I have no idea what those things are for. Almost looks like a trap or something. I've seen several of those in the in the in the forest back there. So according to the map, this little section here is the old barn trail. We're now approaching the old barn. So this is the old barn. It sure has seen its days and I wonder how many years it has left standing until it collapses. Pretty fragile, but cool nonetheless. There's even still a lock on the door. <laughs> Right next to the old barn, there's another bird blind. Well, they have a book uh, for visitors. And then uh, a book that probably helps to identify Birds, yep, that's all it is. And then all kinds of pictures, even in fire extinguishers here. The old barn is a pretty interesting place. Unfortunately, it doesn't mention anywhere how old it is and who used it, at what time and so on. Oh well. Come on, Data, let's go.
Time to head back to the campground. Uh, it's a nice cool morning. It was uh, six degrees when we started. So now it's of course pretty much warmer, but uh, still cool. I wonder what those things are. Some blinds to watch wildlife or whatever, I don't know. They're everywhere around the park. They're not on the map, no description. They all have different numbers. I felt like having some eggs this morning. So, eggs it's gonna be. So this afternoon we're going to check out the Overlook Trail. The trailhead should be down there straight ahead. So there are actually uh, three trail options from here. The Fawn Trail and uh, it goes to another blind in a walk-in camping area. And then this here is the Overlook Trail. Yeah, so far, Overlook Trail is pretty easy. It goes slightly uphill, but it's not, not really steep yet. I don't know exactly where the Overlook is, because the map doesn't help that much. I don't know why they have such a small scale for the hiking trails. But there's a hill in front of us that hill looks steep, so I could assume that the overlook is on top of that, but I have no clue. What I'm talking about is this right there. Yeah, we're getting higher. The views are starting to open up. Okay, there's a little rocky section right here. Delta mastered it, of course. According to my saved marker in Google Maps, we should be very close now. So, I believe we reached the overlook of South Lano River State Park. Delta and I made it to the overlook. The views from here, yeah, they're nice. It's roughly a mile from uh, my campsite, site 30. The last couple of hundred feet, they are steep. Overall, the trail, I would still rate it easy. It's just the humidity here that, that gets to you. Other than that, uh, it's, it's a pretty easy trail. Those clouds, they look a bit scary. I hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, Delta found the perfect spot here in the shade. They should have put the bench here. But I guess it's time now leaving Overlook and heading back. Going back should be much easier since it's all downhill from here. Just watch your step. It's a little rocky here and there are loose rocks. And then you don't want to end up in one of those. Let's see if we can do this. Because that thing is really fragile. Well, this is our last evening walk. And we had to hide here underneath an empty uh, campsite because the rain is coming down hard. So on our last morning walk of day two, we finally did see some deer here. So there is deer around here. It was right here in this open area. And even though we're almost an hour later today than yesterday, there's still a morning fog on the lake, which looks beautiful. Yeah, we're going to the river one last time. The South Lana River. Of course, Delta goes in right away. 
careful there. Nah. Unfortunately, we just missed a, a blue here on, and he was uh, way down there. Be careful, it's deep there. Be careful, Data. Be careful, Data. <laughs> Well, I have the feeling she's going to miss that. That's the last time we see a, a, a river for a while. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> she's, she's never been attracted to water like this. That's, that's new. There, there she goes again. Let's go, girl. <laughs> He's having so much fun. Yeah, we were actually looking for this trail. Uh, this is the interpreter trail. There is no trail marker, nothing indicates that you're on it. According to that very unreliable park map, it should start here where the um, pit toilet is at the parking lot where you have river access. There is no marker, there's no nothing, but we see here something describing the trees, but those are pecan trees. So this must be the interpretive trail. It's not very long and uh, it leads straight to the camping loop. So what do I think about South Llano River State Park? It's a beautiful park. The river is great. The camping loop is very busy. A lot of people arrive here, big families with kids because they all want to enjoy the river. I've seen almost nobody on the hiking trails and the trails are uh, excessive. You have a lot of backcountry trails that go that direction. We had no chance to explore those other than the Overlook Trail. Uh, I believe there are canyons in here also but we stayed only uh, two nights. That is too short to explore everything and hike everything because there are miles and miles of trails and some of them are rated as hard and difficult. So yeah, if you are into hiking, then you need to stay longer here, but be prepared for a busy campground. So the interpretive trail ends at the park headquarters and uh, there is a marker that identifies the trail but if you come from the other side like we just did uh, where there is the river access by the uh, pit toilets there is no marker while I'm working and doing dishes look what's Delta doing So this was our last Texas State Park. We're about to leave South Llano River State Park after two days. Yeah, I would prefer the campsites to the right. They offer more shade. I had sun most of the day and the shelter didn't help much. Of course, those sites here further down to the left, they're also nice. Like uh, this one right here, site 52. 49 was a pretty good one, past that one already. Yeah, that's pretty much the camping loop. So to the left uh, are the park headquarters again. That means bye-bye South Llano River State Park.